The Center for Houston's Future presents the Eugene H. Vaughn Civic Leadership Award annually to individuals whose lifetime work has significantly shaped the future of the Houston region. This year, we honor Lupe and Felix Fraga. Lupe was one of the first people to reach out to me and to offer words of encouragement and support. And he does more than just talk the talk. Lupe walks the walk of a leader. He and his brothers have this legacy of giving to back to the neighborhood where they came from because they came from a very poor uh, neighborhood and uh, have not forgotten where they come from. He's just been so involved with so many different civic organizations. And along with my uncle, they have a hard time just saying no. So I think it's just that ultimate uh, love for Houston and love for people. Uh, Lupe has been a leader, a participator, a giver, an entrepreneur, and a difference maker for many, many years. That's what I think about Lupe Fraga. When I think about Lupe, I think about um, someone of great character, integrity, commitment, a trailblazer. He, he is a trailblazer for Houston, for the community, for Latinos around the state. Those are the things that come to mind when I think about Lupe. Well, you know, you need to know that he comes from a, uh, uh, from a legacy of, uh, of giving, uh, a legacy of neighborhood uh, I guess you would call it activism in those days. His mother was, it was called Angelita, which means little angel. And they call her the little angel of the neighborhood there in the East End. They were always doing something for the neighbors. Obviously, the poor neighborhood is much poorer than it is now. Uh, and they came from that legacy. And uh, through the years, he has been involved in probably uh, all kinds of community things, especially Ripley House there in the East End. Lupe Fraga. You have to know him. You have to realize how long he's been doing what he's been doing. Uh, therefore, he's made a difference in the lives of so many. He's mentored so many. Well, you know, whether you're looking at his work with the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce or the Federal Reserve or his leadership around the state, there, there isn't an area that I think is left untouched by, by Lupe and by his mentorship. I'm only putting this on because orange is in my blood, orange is in my tie. But for you, Loopy, I will put this, uh, uh, put this cap on. His lifelong dream slash goal is what he's doing today. And that is he's serving as a regent at Texas A&M University. Now I'll take it off. We are uh, indebted to you, Dad, for all the great things you've done for the city and all of the, just being an example to us and, and showing us that uh, if you do things for the right reasons and if you care about people and relationships that uh, you can accomplish everything. Well, first of all, I think of Felix as a guy who works in the now. He's interested in what he can do to make things happen right then almost. And it's part of, it's, it's the result of a long-term view, he says, but that's not the face he, he presents. Uh, if he uh, can get a brick repaired in an old street in, in, over in the East End, where it preserves his character, he's so happy, he practically hops up and down. I'll never forget my first meeting with him. It was at Ripley House, of course. And um, I came through the back door and there was Felix in the middle of a huge throng of people uh, directing traffic, giving a tour, giving a piece of advice to a young person, stopping off at an artist's uh, class where there were a bunch of community residents to say hello, uh, dashing up the stairs to the health clinic, greeting a hundred more people, and then turning around and saying, and what can I do for you, and how can I help you? It's a magnificent first baseman for the University of Houston, one of the first Mexican-Americans to play baseball at the University of Houston, if not the first. He was so good 
that upon graduation from the University of Houston, the St. Louis Cardinals drafted him and wanted him to come and play over there. Now, the significance of the story is at the time, uh, Stan Musial was their first baseman. And if anybody knows anything about baseball, you know that Stan Musial is one of the greatest baseball players of all time. But that's how good Felix was that the team would draft him while they had Stan Musial. Felix turned down that offer to pursue a master's degree in the Graduate School of Social Work at St. Mary's University. When I thought about it, that's just like Felix, you know, to, to put the concerns of the community over his own personal ambitions, because I know he loved to play sports. Trisha spent so much of his time and contributed, and he's always done it with such a positive attitude and such a love for people in general. Greatest contribution would be as, as an example of the life he lived and what he believed in. Felix uh, was proud to be part of an era where we understood that uh, diversity was not a problem to be solved, but it's an asset to be developed. Well, Felix, to me, I think, is probably the closest that we come in our community to having someone we could say that is saintly. He is just a man that's above reproach. He's modest, he's sincere, he's caring, and when you're dealing with Felix, you know that you're always getting whatever on issue, you're getting an honest opinion from him in dealing with particular issues. He's just set a, a great example for me and for many others of what it means to give back to the community, of what it means to have a positive attitude in facing life and all that you do in life, whether it's work, uh, family, community. So he's, he's done that. Um, he's a tireless worker and he's a great, compassionate, caring man. 